Guys, I have discovered three secrets to help you fully empty your bladder because if you're not fully emptying, you are leaving urine left over inside your body, leaving you at risk of experiencing urine leakage and dribble. You are going to make frequent trips to the toilet and you are also risking a bladder infection and kidney stones and you don't want any of that. Now the three tips I'm going to deliver in this video are for those of you guys that are just getting frustrated and for those of you looking for a simple and effective strategy that you can use every single time you urinate and I can guarantee that you have never heard of the third tip I'm about to show you. So sit back and take note of these three tips to completely empty your bladder every single time from now on. No, guys, I was serious. Sit down and relax. This is literally the first tip. Now, I know what you're thinking. We're men. We don't sit down. We stand to pee. Sure, if you're out in public, stand up when urinating and use a urinal. But when you're at home, I want you to try sitting down. Here's why. For most of us guys, when we head to the bathroom to urinate, we rush the process. We tend to push way too hard trying to strengthen our flow and empty every last drop from our bladder as quickly as possible. Well, what actually happens is that when you clench and you push, you end up increasing your intra-abdominal pressure, trapping urine inside of your urethra, the P-tube. And then when you go to stand up, the second you leave the bathroom, you know very well that your bladder is not truly empty and it's even likely that you'll get a little bit of urine dribble soiling your underwear, proving my point. So I want you to try this instead. Sit down on the toilet, you're going to lean forward, bracing your elbows on your knees and I want you to take a few deep breaths to relax the pressure inside your abdomen and then naturally allow the urine to flow out of your body. Please take your time and do not rush the process. At the end of the day, is spending an extra 30 seconds on the toilet going to ruin your schedule? I'll let you be the judge of that. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Eric, doctor of physiotherapy, specializing in the treatment of pelvic floor conditions such as urine leakage, erectile dysfunction, and all the other fun things that us men experience in life. Now before I share the two remaining tips so that you can fully empty your bladder, I need to introduce you to the gentleman's agreement. Now the gentleman's agreement is that if you have watched more than one of my videos, you must subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our content is not free and how you repay me is by clicking that subscribe button directly underneath this video and once you do that, I now work for you. It's like going to 7-Eleven and putting a dollar into the charity jar at the front counter to get a piece of candy in return. Well, instead of giving me the dollar, all you have to do is click the subscribe button below, which is free by the way. Also, make sure you leave me a comment on the topics you want to see covered in future videos so that you can have your say. Thank you so much for honoring the gentleman's agreement and clicking that subscribe button below. Welcome to our community. Okay, so you've come to grips with my suggestion and you've decided to try sitting to pee. Firstly, thank you for keeping an open mind. Well, once you think that you have finished urinating, I want you to stand up from the toilet. So standing up, you are going to wait four seconds, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then you are going to sit back down and try to urinate any leftover fluid from your bladder. This is called a double void, and it is almost a guaranteed way to make sure that you are completely emptying any leftover urine from your system. Here's how it works. When you think that you're done urinating, we typically do the shake to make sure that all the remaining urine is out of the line. Well, when you do this, your pelvic floor muscles, they can tighten up preventing you from actually clearing the line completely. Your pelvic floor muscles, well, they are deep within your pelvis and they surround your urethra, the P-tube. And when they clench, it's the same thing as kinking a garden hose. Well, what happens when you let go of that garden hose? It starts spraying again. Well, the same goes with your bladder. As soon as you leave the bathroom, the sensors that are located inside of your urethra, they start pinging alarm signals to your brain that your bladder isn't truly empty resulting in you making multiple trips to urinate. Okay, here's how you fix this. You start by sitting on the toilet to urinate. When you think you're finished, again, you stand up for four seconds, take a deep breath, and then you are going to sit back down. And this is where the magic is about to happen because what I'm going to have you do next is going to shock you. 
Okay, so once you sit back down, tip number three is I want you to rock your torso back and forth four times. And on the fourth time, you are going to try urinating out the leftover fluid. Think of this like priming a pump and building up a little bit of pressure. You will be shocked how much extra urine you can urinate into the toilet. Now, here's how it works. It, it creates back pressure within your abdomen and it also allows your pelvic floor muscles to just relax. Now your urine is no longer trapped inside the bladder neck or the urethra and voila, you've now fully emptied your bladder. So this is how you do it. I want you keeping your feet planted on the floor, shoulder width apart. Now you're gonna have your hands on your stomach and I want you to slowly rock forward. Be careful not to fall over. And then you're gonna rock back until your back hits the back of the toilet. That's one rep. So we're gonna go two. Remember, not holding your breath. That's three. And then that is four. Come on, you're in the privacy of your own bathroom. Literally no one can see you and this truly works. Now, once you finish the fourth rep, you're gonna take another deep breath in and out and then urinate anything left over. Remember to be patient and get everything out of the line. After this step is complete, you can now stand up, zip up your pants, flush the toilet and you're good to go. Now, a few other quick tips to use in combination with the three-step strategy I just taught you is to monitor the amount of fluids that you consume during your day. My general rule is that you wanna drink just enough so that you are not dehydrated. But if you're over consuming fluids, you're only adding to the problem. Also pay close attention to the types of fluids you're consuming. For example, coffee, soda, pop, energy drinks, caffeinated teas, they are all going to increase your urine production, again, making your bladder issue far worse. And a tip I bet you have not heard of is to reduce the amount of food and snacks that you eat after dinner. Here's why. When you have a snack later in the evening, the sugar that's in that snack, it binds to water molecules, which causes your kidneys to start producing even more urine. And this is likely the reason why a lot of you watching this video wake up one to two times per night, if not more, to urinate. Swap out your snack for something that does not contain sugar or just simply stop eating after dinner altogether and you will see how this is going to affect you overnight. Remember your bladder issues, they didn't happen overnight and you cannot expect them to be fixed overnight either. Now guys, if you're struggling with urine leakage or bladder emptying habits and things just are not getting better for you, you might even be wearing incontinence pads, I offer a more personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching service where I will work directly with you online using Zoom consultations to create you a personalized rehabilitation program to help you fix your bladder issues so that you can finally move on with your life. I will link my website directly below in the comments and in the description of this video where you can check out my coaching plans. I offer a free 20 minute call to start you off so you have literally nothing to lose. And while you're on my website, make sure you scroll down to read my client stories and testimonials. I have helped so many guys that were in the same situation as you. Men's health is all that I do and the beauty of online treatments and coaching is that we can do it anywhere in the entire world. So if you're tired of urine leakage or going to the toilet constantly during the day, consult with me, the professional in this space, and let me help you. Check out that link to my website which can be found in the description and in the comment section below. And remember, regardless of your situation, keep going and I'll see you in the next video.